Hey America, Uncle Sam here and I'm just about as mad as Barney Frank at a Rick Santorum rally because cause when I wasn't looking, five of those knuckleheads on the Supreme Court decided that freedom of speech is now all about money. The more money you have, the more freedom you have to shoot your mouth off on the public airways so that now a man can't sit back and watch his Big Bang Theory reruns in peace. I mean, while if you're living in South Carolina today, you probably think your TV remote is busted because every channel keeps playing that show called Mitt Romney is the most evil man in history. And, and they're not even talking about him being a Mormon. And what's worse is that even though Newt Gingrich's buddies are paying for all these negative ads, you know, he gets to play stupid and pretend that oh, he has no control over what they're putting on the air. So, so tell me, how is it in the name of Lincoln Logs that a man can ask Americans to vote him into the White House when he can't get one of his own friends to shut their mouth? I mean, can't he just take the guy out to Applebee's and get Get him drunk on mojitos and, and then have him cancel his TV ad by a while while he can sit there stuffing his face with sliders. Oh, those sliders are so good. Oh, and, and that's not to say I think Obama and his pal should be doing the same thing come November. No, between now and then, can he get the Congress to do something useful like they did back when they passed that Do Not Call List Act? I mean, they passed it a while back. Can't they pass a do not ruin TV act, which keeps all their nonsense off the public airways? Or or just couldn't they put the, all those ads on a separate channel that politicians can pay you to watch? Oh, that is until you reach the point where you'd rather shoot yourself in the head than ever hear the words Bain Capital again. Oh, and just remember that freedom of speech also gives you the right to tell someone to shut up. God bless America and hit that subscribe button.